Weather coverage you can count on with the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, Merry Christmas Eve to all of you on the Early Warning Radar Network. I'm not tracking any showers. We're completely dry, completely clear, but I am tracking Santa along with Nicole. And last time we checked, he was making his way to Brazil. He's over there somewhere. We're expecting him to make his way onto the United States later tonight. But for now, you're okay if you're out of bed enjoying festivities with your family. These are our temperatures across the state here. Most of us in the 20s, all of us in the 20s, it is frigidly cold. You don't need me to tell you that. 23 in Gunnersville, 21 in Huntsville, 22 in Athens. Warmer in the Shoals, sitting at 24 degrees. These are our feels like temperatures in the teens here. It's a little bit windy outside. If you step outside, the cold air really is like a slap in the face. It's very, very cold outside. If you're heading out for late night festivities with family or maybe going to a Christmas Eve service, make sure that you are bundled up in multiple layers, you and your children both. Here's a live look from our sky cam in Huntsville, the beautiful city here on Christmas Eve. Isn't it just lovely? Clear skies overhead and those are going to carry us through the rest of this evening here. As you can see, clear skies, that's going to help us cool very quickly too. These temperatures dropping rapidly through the 20s. We will reach temperatures in the teens overnight, our overnight low near 12 degrees. It is just frosty outside. It feels like there should be snow on the ground, but we all know that is not the case. Now tomorrow, not going to see any snow for your Christmas day either. Completely dry, completely clear, but your temperature is freezing right near that 32 degrees mark just bitterly cold. Tomorrow, if you have plans, make sure that you bundle up as well. And if you leave the house for any length of time, you might want to leave some water dripping. Now for the rest of your holiday weekend, Sunday, Christmas Day, highs near freezing at 32 degrees. Monday, a little warmer, still in the 30s. Tuesday, some sunshine again. And your temperatures, we finally make it to the 40s there. But it's still just so, so cold. I want to show you on future radar, not tracking any showers or anything over the next few days. This is Monday morning, some heavy cloud cover builds in, but we're staying dry all throughout Monday. And then Tuesday here, we do see some clearing. And I told you that Tuesday clearing will continue on into Wednesday. These are our wake up temperatures over the next several days. If you're tired of the cold weather, you can get excited because we're on the rise, although it's a slow rise, we are on the rise here. By Thursday, wake up temperatures in the 40s and get excited because on Thursday, our highs rebound near 60 degrees, but we've got to make it through these next two days first, and then we will reach the 60s there, 63 on Friday, Saturday. You'll notice we have rain and storm chances entering the forecast Next weekend, we have southerly wind flow, some moisture building back in, and that will allow for some rain chances Friday and Saturday. Your overnight lows, frigidly cold, well below freezing in the teens, well through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the 20s, and then on Thursday, we re rebound to morning lows in the 40s there. That's your seven-day forecast. Nicole?